Check this out. What is that? We're gonna find out. Let's take a look. Today we're gonna talk about Avid Boats. It's a relatively new product line at Boaters Exchange. We've been carrying them for about a year and a half. Uh, it's our second model year with the lineup. There's a lot to talk about. I'm Paul with Boaters Exchange in Rockledge in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. So as I alluded to, there's something really unique about Avid Boats, and that is that they are not fiberglass. They're actually made out of aluminum. Um, it's a uh, relatively new uh, boat company founded in 2019 uh, by the Faulkner family. Uh, the Faulkner family has been involved with uh, four boat companies now, founded four boat companies. They've got uh, at least four decades of, of boat building experience. Company was founded in 19. Um, Yamaha immediately endorsed them and came on board. They are a Yamaha powered boat. Um, but back to the hull side, it's made out of 5052 aluminum alloy. Um, it's a saltwater grade, marine grade aluminum. Um, they're not made like other aluminum boats. They're curved um, for aesthetics. They've got this tooling that they made major investments in um, to uh, come up with a product that is aesthetically pleasing, um, but also very durable with great ride quality and also um, very quiet on the water because they're foam filled. So a lot of unique advantages. They've got a great price point. Um, they uh, make roughly 35% bass boats and about 65 percent saltwater boats. Um, it's all bass and, and uh, saltwater bay boats. So let's take a closer look. All right, so with Avid Boats, um, we're primarily going to focus on the saltwater side. Um, we at Boaters Exchange don't carry the bass boats. Um, it's not our market. But on the saltwater sign, uh, side, there's really three uh, lines. Um, so you've got the uh, the FS series, um, which is a traditional uh, bay boat, um, it's called the FS. They go from 19 to 23 feet. Then you've got the Fusions, um, which are uh, 21 and 23 feet. And the Fusions are uh, essentially a hybrid, so a little more family friendly with bow cushions, uh, flip up seats, and uh, Bimini standard, stereo standard, things like that. And then you have the Magnum, and the Magnum is more of a true sort of tournament boat. Um, it's made in the 21 and 23 foot size. By the way, as of today, I'm permitted to announce that there's a new model coming out uh, very shortly, the 21 FST, which uh, T stands for tunnel. So it'll be a traditional uh, bay boat uh, with a tunnel hull for shallow water. So that'll be exciting to see. So the big question we always get is, why aluminum? What is it about aluminum that makes it uh, something that you may want to own for yourself? And uh, some of the unique advantages of aluminum, first of all, it's very durable. Uh, so aluminum boat owners have known you know, for many, many years that the boats are durable. Um, they, uh, they, they have great ride quality. Um, and of course, some of the complaints about aluminum is that uh, the, the boats can be a little more noisy and also aren't quite as interesting to look at. So Avid, um, in the process of, of founding this company, uh, went out and brought in some really fantastic um, experts in the field of aluminum boat building. And the gentleman that is leading engineering is a veteran um, and has come up with uh, some really neat advantages on Avid over other traditional aluminum boats. Um, one of the biggest ones is that um, as I mentioned before, uh, you don't see a lot of hard angles on the Avid boats. They're, uh, th uh, they've got this sort of curved bow um, that's very pleasing to look at. Uh, that's a result of some very expensive tooling uh, that was uh, invested in the company from the get-go. Uh, of course, they also are a foam-filled boat. Uh, so when you add the foam to the boat, it deadens the sound. So you've got a boat that rides great, that uh, is extremely durable and also relatively quiet. Um, it's also um, just a tad bit lighter than fiberglass. So there's some real advantages there. Now, the boats do not look like they're made out of aluminum. And, and one of the reasons is that the boats are painted with a super high quality paint um, called Imron. So very, very durable uh, paint. Those of you that um, are real technical um, can do some research on that and uh, understand a little bit more about that paint. 
The aluminum is marine grade 5052. The foam filled nature of the boat, which is closed cell foam, um, not only does it deaden sound, but it also obviously increases buoyancy for safety, but it also improves ride quality. So um, one of the neat things on their boats is, um, is the, the, what you can't see, um, which is not only the foam, but also in the transom, um, there are five knee braces um, at the transom on the inside to add structure and rigidity. Um, and of course, anytime you add that sort of uh, reinforcement and rigidity, that translates typically to ride quality and fuel economy because the boat just simply won't flex. So some, some hidden advantages there. They've also got um, on the bottom is a, is a, a hard keel. Um, there's aluminum extrusion uh, that is welded in place. And again, durability, ride quality. So a lot of neat things that went into designing an aluminum boat from the ground up on a brand new company. Um, one of the questions we sometimes get is, hey, you know, do I really want to buy a boat from a company that was just founded in 2019? And the answer is yes. This, this outfit is, first of all, family owned. Uh, it's well financed. The boats uh, have a lifetime warranty on the hull. Um, and of course, one year about a stern. And uh, the, uh, the company that uh, is in question uh, we've been dealing with this particular family for many, many years uh, at Boaters Exchange and have a high um, comfort level with, uh, with their quality and also their reputation and, and their process for warranty and customer service. And I believe that's one of the reasons why Yamaha got on board with Avid so early in their life cycle. Um, that really is uh, unusual in my experience. Let's talk a little bit more about the uh, um, different models. Now this boat is the 21FS and one of the neat things again is that they've got a fiberglass console on all of the Avids. Um, so the neat thing is fiberglass console, it's curved, it's beautiful, it's fully functioned. Uh, a lot of the aluminum companies you get an aluminum console that has a flange fit to the deck. Um, this one is uh, fully featured. I've got a glove box, I've got a cell phone charger built in, uh, real nice uh, switches on the dash, a place to um, put my wallet or keys up top with a little bit of C-Deck material, integrated GPS and storage underneath. Another neat thing on the console is that it's what they call a two-piece console. So what that means is it has a toe kick, which gives me more effective deck space as I walk around the boat. Again. Other aluminum boats, you're going to have an aluminum console, very square and boxy, that just simply goes down to the deck and is uh, either riveted or screwed in with a flange. Um, really neat console. On all of the Avid Bay boats, there's a very generous bow, forward bow deck. Uh, up front, there's a huge anchor locker, and inside there is a matting material um, to uh, keep all of your items dry. And there's a built-in pad for a trolling motor with trolling motor hookup. They've also got motor trim switch up at the front here. And also what we call a pylon style nav light, which can be elevated above the height of the trolling motor. And that all just comes standard. There's a built-in fishing seat base. Now this boat has the optional stainless steel hatch latches. So instead of just the old school plastic or chrome plated zinc, we've got nice stainless steel. Um, <clears throat> all of the lids are reinforced with a little bit of extra bracket and then a gasket material that keeps it quiet and also relatively dry. The side lockers are lockable, stainless lockable latch opens up with that same reinforcement bracket on the lid. We've got the rubber gasket and uh, horizontal rod storage in this front compartment side locker. Um, what's cool is that all of these compartments have this neat rubber matting and it keeps your items uh, dry and also um, dampens noise when you drop uh, item when you place items in the locker. 
Another neat thing is that the boats have stainless steel cleats as opposed to plastic like most other aluminum boats. So instead of all plastic fittings, we've got stainless steel everywhere. Um, these happen to be pop-up and they're isolated from the aluminum with a rubber gasket. At the top of the console, there's a removable windshield and also a folding grab rail. So it makes it handy for storing in the garage because these, these items fold down and remove very easily. There's also on the 21FS an optional tackle storage built into the front of the console. Super um, convenient. Then we have the uh, first of two live wells. So this would be your uh, secondary live well. The primary is up front. And they are tournament live wells, um, which is also unusual in the aluminum world. Uh, the tournament live well really means that it's got the recirculation pump and high-speed pickups. If you're sitting in this seat, you do have a handhold, often forgot about um, in, in a lot of seating, with cup holders and uh, built-in rod holders. On the cockpit, one of the unique things about Avid, uh, again in the aluminum world, is that their fuel tank is below deck. A lot of aluminum boat companies have a fuel tank that's mounted up on the rear deck, which means that your lean bar is really sitting on top of a fuel tank. And uh, that limits the size of the cockpit space. Here we've got uh, just a standard lean bar with that flip down uh, footrest. And we've got a little bit of space to move around behind as opposed to this entire section being an elevated platform. Again, with the flip up seats in the back, and then our primary live well is in the center and bilge access at the stern. All right, on the flip up seat, we've got a stainless latch that holds it in place and it opens up um, very easily. There's a nice stainless steel uh, mechanism, uh, hinge I guess it would be, uh, as opposed to some cheap other material. But then check this out, there's a, a rubber liner so that when you close the seat, it closes soft and doesn't slam, make noise, scare the fish. And then we've also got two more fish seat bases built in. Uh, those come standard, the boat doesn't come with the fishing seat, but if you get one, you've got three different positions to place it uh, in the back, two in the back, one in the front. Now, coming to the back is a real nice swim platform ladder. Um, that's uh, integrated in and uh, we'll show that. We're going to come back to that in a minute. But while I'm here, I wanted to talk about the non-skid. The, the non-skid on this boat is pretty interesting. It's a kind of a sand coat um, that also has the Imron finish on it. Very, very durable. Um, just a, a great way to put an aggressive non-skid in the boat that's also easy to clean. I want to point out how clean the rigging is on the engine. Um, they've got this neat um, sort of uh, oriented rigging tube that comes out at an angle um, along with the hydraulic lines. Super clean. You've got a transducer wire that comes down through. Everything's tie wrapped nice and pretty. So this 21FS has an integrated ladder. Um, it, uh, it is made for the boat. It is a bolt-on. Gets the job done. But the best, some of the best parts about the transom area are the fact that it's a 25-inch transom. You're not going to find other aluminum boats that have a 25-inch transom. What that does is, as opposed to a 20-inch transom, is it creates a little more freeboard for the boat. Um, so you got a little bit taller freeboard than what most aluminum boats are going to have. And they also have this 4-inch uh, notch, if you will, that um, sets the engine back from the uh, bottom, hull bottom of the boat, and it's almost, it works as a built-in jack plate. What that does is that allows water to feed up to the lower unit so that the engine gets good grip on the water, that cut out there. There's your high-speed pickups, by the way, for the live wells, super cool. Another neat thing is all Avids come with trailers. Uh, super nice trailer, good diamond uh, plate, uh, uh, wheel wells, you've got aluminum wheels. 
uh, pretty neat logo built into the side of it on that step, and it's pretty sturdy. So it'll, it'll hold the weight, and it goes all the way back. Uh, so if you're trying to maybe launch the boat shallow, you've got a little bit of a walk board as you're launching. And of course, the uh, foam padded PVC side guides. All logoed out, matches the boat. Beautiful trailer, fully aluminum. It's also got a stainless steel retractable boat buckle, tie down, super convenient. The hull bottom is about performance. They've got their, their hull bottom design uh, is, they call it their ProMaster hull. It's got a padded surface uh, running down the center with that reinforced keel and six lifting strakes. So that's gonna translate into performance, speed, fuel economy, and good grip on the turns. It's a great running boat. At the beginning of the video, we said there's three lines in the saltwater side. The FS, the Fusion, and the Magnum. Uh, we primarily showed you a 21 FS today, but I wanted to point out the 21 Fusion and 23 Fusion, which is actually a little more popular um, because it has some extra family features that many people in our area like. First of all, standard are the bow cushions, the forward-facing backrest, the grab rail up in the front, bimini is standard, stereo is standard, and so is the swim platform. And so the 23 Fusion, now all of them have the flip up backrest, but the 21 and 23 Fusion do have those extra family features that a lot of people in our part of the world like. So that was a quick walkthrough of Avid Boats at Boaters Exchange. There's way more information than we can cover in a video, so check out avid-boats.com or boatersexchange.com. By the way, Boaters Exchange is a five-star rated dealership in Central Florida. We have two locations, one in New Smyrna Beach, one in Rockledge. We'd love to give you a hand with any of your boating needs. Uh, we're full service uh, dealership. We sell consignment boats. Uh, we also uh, do service. We do uh, aluminum work. Uh, really everything soup to nuts for your boating needs. Love to give you a hand. My name is Paul. Thanks for watching.